Hi there. Today I'm going to be making a video for you about how I make my broth. And today I'm going to be making a chicken broth. So there's a couple things I want to say about chicken broth. One is it's a much lighter broth. It's um, it's it's got a wonderful flavor to it. So if a beef bone broth or oxtail or knuckle bones and marrow bones and things like that or even shank bones are too strong in flavor for you, I would definitely suggest that you try making a chicken broth. And it's really simple to do. There's a lot of ways you can do it, but I'm gonna show you the way that I'm gonna do it today and I've made it many different ways. And today I will make it a specific way that is pretty simple, very straightforward, and also, um, I just want to point out a little bit more about chickens. So I have raised and processed, a nice name for slaughtered, uh, my own chickens before. And it it's um, quite an experience. And so what I want to say about that is that I noticed a lot of things about chickens when they're raised naturally in a sort of free range environment. And that is that when you take all the feathers off, they're actually very tiny underneath. <laughs> and so the giant chickens that you see at the market, um, at the you know regular supermarkets and um, that you might buy from a local butcher or whatever, they are so large that there's no way that a chicken would ever be that big unless you pumped it full of um, growth hormones and other things. So. I just wanted to mention that to you because the chicken that I'm going to use today, it, it's tiny and, and it's, it makes me happy to see this tiny chicken because I know that in order to get a normal quote unquote chicken that you would see at a market, it's, there's no way that they don't have growth hormones in them. And so when you compare the two, uh, I mean, I see chicken breasts that are as big as this entire chicken that I'm going to show you in just a second. So just know that when you buy that $30 chicken that's tiny from the farmer's market, which this one cost uh, $30, it's, it's worth it. And one of the things you'll realize is that this chicken will last an entire week of protein, so maybe longer. So with that dozen, um, dozen fresh eggs from the you know, free range happy hens that are running around that cost me $7 and the $30 chicken, um, that's enough protein for my husband and I to have for maybe a week or more. So the things you can do with this chicken are many, many recipes that you can make from it. Um, not only soup, but you know, chicken salads and uh, you could roast the chicken before you made the soup broth out of it. So you could have a whole meal before you even make the broth. But today I'm just going to make the broth without roasting the chicken first. And this chicken meat um, and the broth will last at least a week so that's protein for a week for less than forty dollars and maybe two weeks honestly so we'll see how long this lasts and I'll give I'll get back to you okay so here we go mm -hmm. 